Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Okay guys, December is coming and I will be giving away three free three question readings every week the month of December. So don't forget to comment in December. And if I comment under your comment that you're a winner, then you will get your three question reading. So guys, let's get into Scorpio's reading here. Scorpio, got good news and bad news. Bad news is I do see that somebody, you may have lost somebody that you loved, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of grief here. But I also feel like um, there was may have been deception in, in, uh, uh, mixed in as well in this. But I also see new love coming for you. And uh, new love is coming in divine timing. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Scorpio, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs, then we'll get into the spread, and then we'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Scorpio. Scorpio, your energy. Um, so there's an offer or an apology in a family situation. So offer or an apology in a family situation. Let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Scorpio, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries, somebody is waiting for a relationship. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone feels very trapped in their head about a tower moment. Something that wasn't built on a solid foundation crumbled. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's at a crossroads about moving on. If you're dealing with a Cancer, got a King of Swords, someone being strategic, not showing emotion. Um, someone's being strategic about their strength or their plotting, planning. For a long time. Okay. So someone's been very strategic, plotting and planning about their strength for a long time. So this person's got their strength and they're, they're, uh, they're using it. I feel like they're, st they're standing strong. This person for a long time is very strong. And um, they're, they're showing it. You know, the King of Swords is an opponent that you can't beat. This person knows what how to win against you no matter what. And I uh, feel like that's Cancer's energy, Scorpio. So um, let's get into Leo. So if there's Leo, someone's holding on to a deception, holding on to a lie, I feel like. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like somebody's closing out a cycle heartbroken. They're, you know, they're ending something to start something new, but they're heartbroken. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's walking away, unhappily walking away. If you're dealing with a, another Scorpio, uh, someone's making a decision to move on. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's something that's going to transform in a new beginning in love. It could be ending a new beginning in love, but I feel like it's transforming it. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone wants to speak the truth to the Empress. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there could be a third party burden. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, something's hidden in the relationship. They've got a secret relationship. OK, but I feel like I want to go back to Aquarius here when I say that there's a third party burden. Third parties don't have to be people. They can be a job. They could be children. They could be, you know, it can be people, but um, it can be a third party as in a sexual affair. It also could be a family member. It could be anything that interferes in your relationship can be a third party. So just keep that in mind. So for some reason with this Aquarius energy, I'm not picking up that it is an affair. I feel like it's a burden, maybe a work burden or um trying to get everybody to get along kind of a burden, that kind of burden. Um, because there's a lot of drama going on and I don't know why they're wanting me specifically to say this for Scorpio and Aquarius. I, You need to know there's a lot of drama. A, a lot of people's got their hand in the mix. I feel like there's a lot of drama around that Aquarius for some, for Scorpio for some reason. So there's an offer or an apology in a family situation. Let's see what's coming up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for 
Scorpio, what Scorpio need to know, please? Okay, so, ooh, there's a choice, a choice between two, and it's causing a tower moment. Somebody's now waiting, waiting because there's options, waiting because there are options, or they're confused about the burden, uh, or it's a third party. This is an option that's a burden to move forward. Something's keeping somebody from moving on. Manifesting a king of, of wands. I feel like there's an ending for and, and new love. It's not going to transform to new love, I feel like. Because there was no equal give and take looking back at the past mistakes that were made. Okay, so Scorpio rushing towards somebody. Oh, somebody was a, be, um, a player and there was betrayal offering their love. So we'll see. Queen of Pentacles, very guarded and defensive about the third party. So are you coming in as a Queen of Pentacles? Here under the bottom of the deck, there's justice for a two of, justice for a two of cups, right? So, there was a choice between two here. The choice. This was a soulmate. I don't feel like this is a soulmate. This is a choice. There's a lot of back and forth communication about a choice. And the, it has to do with the tower moment because of deception. Somebody was lying about having another person in their life. They're waiting for something long-term and committed. But I feel like when the option moves on. The option may be moving on. Somebody's waiting for some a commitment, but they're waiting for an option to move on. Right? There's a tower moment because of the deception, and there's a lot of communication about a choice. Right? And it caused some kind of a burden here, and they needed to make a head of a heart decision about some kind of a burden. Whatever this was, the burden was here. Can't see that, but you have the burden of making a decision to move forward here, to take that leap of faith. I feel like. You were waiting for a relationship with somebody, but there was somebody else in the mix that they were lying about. But this option is moving on, but you have to make the decision here on whether or not you want this to move forward with this person. So you're you're feeling like somebody's manifesting some patience and balance with this King of Wands because they want to be with this person. Um, you're exercising patience here. You're manifesting patience. You're manifesting balance. King of Wands wants to offer that cup or you want to offer that cup to the King of... But there's an ending. I mean, it was a bad ending. So this almost to me is... Ooh. I feel like this is somebody dies. And I don't normally say that in, in a reading. But this ending was a definite... A, a, fi a finality here, like a bad ending. And I normally don't say that because I don't want to say that in, in a reading for the most part. But I feel like with this ending of a tower moment, something comes crashing down because of something's ended. And I feel like the finality here, and I almost felt like there was a finality here, like somebody may have passed. So you may have wanted it to be with somebody, but there may have been a very strong, bad ending, a bad ending, a very bad ending. Now, if this person didn't pass, this was a um, an ending that you're not coming back from. I mean, and I feel like that's a strong, that's why I'm not, that's why I'm picking up that energy that this is something you're not coming back from. See, because now you have the King of Cups here. So there's new love for Scorpio. There's new love for Scorpio. And I feel like options, illusion, confusion, daydreaming. So daydreaming of equal give and take. 
you're daydreaming of having something equal, but you're looking back at the past and the cycle's ended. Something's completely closed. Uh, something's over. Something's ended completely. I feel like a finality here, a finality here. You wanted to be with this person. You exercised a lot of patience. This is a communication of there being two people and in, in deception causing this tower. You waited so long for something long-term and committed. And you, you're daydreaming of this moving forward. But you still have to make a decision about the burdens to get this to move forward. But I feel like it's not. It's not going to move forward with that person. You've got new love coming towards you. Somebody, you feel like someone betrayed you. Someone was rushing in and betrayed somebody. Someone came in hot and betrayed somebody with offering their cup. Or this is somebody was a player and they betrayed somebody by offering their cup to somebody else. Blocking, standing your ground, moving on, moving forward in a relationship, having some regrets. So I feel like there's a lot of fighting and somebody moved on from the relationship with a lot of regrets. Queen of Pentacles, very guarded and defensive about a third party. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning with a soulmate. There's going to be passionate communication. But you still feel very trapped up in your head about the ending. I feel like, oh, I do feel like this. You wanted to be with this person. I feel like, and this is not going to be for everybody, but this is for somebody, okay? You're very trapped up in your head, sleepless nights over this ending. So if this ending was somebody passing, you're very, you're grieving. This is a lot of grieving of somebody who passed. You can't, you're having, this is a new beginning of love for you. But Scorpio, you may be still grieving very deeply somebody who passed. And I see that. I feel like this is grieving the past. Uh, grieving somebody who passed. You do have, you have love coming towards you, but you may have. Um, now, keep in mind, guys, this could have been a loved one. This doesn't have to be um, your true person that passed, but it could be. It could be that this was somebody that you loved a lot, um, that you wanted to be with, you wanted to offer your love to. They may have passed, but you have somebody here that's coming, the coming, uh, you've been, the universe is sending you new love. But I still feel that you're grieving. You're grieving. This is grief to me. So um, let's get you some energy, Scorpio. That's sad to hear. Um, you're, gr you're grieving over somebody's loss, but you do have new love coming towards you. Career inspiration life purpose courage so you need the courage to go forward with your life purpose here whatever something's inspiring you through your career to move forward in your life purpose so you could be like a, like me a tarot card reader uh, that's something that's inspired you with courage to move forward and have what you need to do that's it's very important that you do that right and know that you're protected while you do that saying say no what are they saying say no to do what you love say no do what you love accept disappointment gracefully i don't know that you can accept yeah grieve your losses i was feeling that very strong for you grieving your losses but accept your disappointment gracefully whatever that is you may be disappointed about something say no do what you love so you may have an offer in a career um, to do, why am I feeling that for you? This is specific, and I don't know who I'm reading for at this point, but I, I felt grief here. I feel like you're grieving your losses, your losses right here. This is grieving your losses. But I feel like accepting disappointment has to do with the job, not a person. Um, they're saying say no and do what you love. But I feel like you have an opportunity to do what you're inspired to do. And I feel like it's related to your life purpose, your path. Okay. So say no to disappointments and, and uh, things that are disappointing. Like a, if you're in a dead end job, that's what it, be, you know, accept your disappointments gracefully. Say no, do what you love. Do what you love is what you're being inspired to do with strength 
or your path, whatever that may be for you. And I feel like you're going to know what I'm talking about when, and they say, be open for love. So new love is coming for you, Scorpio, new love, new love, new career change as well. I feel like um, you're getting, you're going to be doing what's meant for you to do. Um, whether that's a healer, whether that is a tarot card reader, whether that is an influencer, whatever that may be for you specifically, you're going to take the bull by the horns for that, okay? Um, but I still feel like there's a lot of grief here for you, a lot of grief. Third party, deception, something's transformed, right? The signs of this commitment, there's signs, there's commitment coming, divine timing. Okay, so you're gonna see signs and synchronicities about the commitment that's coming in divine timing, right? But there was something that there's a third party, there was a third party disappointment here. There was deceptions and something transformed. So something transformed because of that. They're saying refocus on your healing, there may be some regrets here, but there was free will involved and family. Um, someone may have been settling for an offer here. You may have settled for an offer that could have been work related. That doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be romantically, but I feel like someone settled for an offer. They're saying, say no to that, let go of that. You know, don't just, just uh, take what the first train coming. You know, I feel like you have something better for you here. Um, take your time. Do it right. Do it right. OK, um, pay attention to the signs. I feel like that's more related to this. Pay attention to the signs They're trying to say what direction you need to go in specifically for this. Um, that I feel like this goes with this. Don't settle for an offer. The signs are, are showing you that there's something else that you need to do. Um, but there is a commitment that is coming in divine timing for you. OK, and I feel like that's new love that's coming for you, Scorpio. So good news, bad news in this reading. So that's all I have for you guys. If this resonates, um, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.